It's Miniature Monday. And do you know where your giant scorpion is? Pathfinder Deep Cuts and WizKids presents the Giant Scorpion. For $4.99, you too can own this giant miniature scorpion. Yeah, and that is exactly what one would look like if someone clicked paint colors on it in Photoshop. Um, the one thing that kind of bugs me about good old uh, WizKids and their uh, miniatures is there's no sculpting credit. I think they're all just kind of digitally produced, um, primed, ready to paint, or paint ready out of the box. I call bullshit on you, as kids, because you can't. If you water down your paints like every miniature painter in the goddamn world does, it looks like a fucking oil slick. Even if you take a toothbrush and a half a gallon of Dawn dishwashing detergent. That's the problem I have with these. So, um, I could even spray paint and primer on these, painted over it, and there was still, like, some sort of globby... It was, it was like the Exxon Valdez. Okay, you guys are probably young, you don't know about the Exxon Valdez, but I, you know... Go fucking Google it, okay? The Exxon Valdez, it was like a huge disaster that happened, I believe, off the coast of Alaska and or Canada that involved a oil tanker. There, now you get the joke. So we got these wafer-thin miniatures that I actually have a giant box of them here. Somebody said they really prefer these. I told him to give me my his address so I can ship all of them to him. He still has not done so. Offer still stands. So we got that. That measures in at about 2 inches by 2 inches American or American Standard or Imperial, wherever you want to call it. Just call it American. America is the only people that use the Imperial scale. Okay. Just, it's, I don't know why. I think it's out of sure, sheer, like, American ignorance that we still use the uh, Imperial scale. Um, come on. Can't we just get together and use metric? Jeez. It's whatever. Anyway, so, <laughs> long story short, this is going to be 48 by 48 millimeters or 2 inches by 2 inches round base. And possibly thin, by the way. Hit me up. Address. I'll send you them. No problem. Then, I have the Scorpion. <laughs> See, not so American. I actually greatly like the detail on this. I'm not going to lie. You got a line where the mold is uh, came together right there. Not a problem at all. That's not going to be a tricky section at all to trim down with your X-Acto knife. Got the same line around the back. Um, you know, no, uh, no scorpion butthole there. Um, we got eight legs, two pinchers, and one stabby. Stabby McStabberson right there. Um, so, yeah, I like that. Uh, I love how they thought about the environment that a scorpion would actually be in. And they took the care to make the base look as much like sand as possible. So that's, uh, you know, that's some clever thinking um, there. So I do enjoy what they did there. Um, what would I use this for? I plan on um, running a Fallout game. I'm going to take the old pen and paper Fallout that was passed around um, on all those peer to peers back in the day when there was only the computer games and make um, and run a game based off that. Um, because my new Fallout role-playing uh, rules have not shown up yet. Thank you, Miniature Market, you fucking assholes. Uh, so uh, so there's that. Still waiting for my Oathmark books, too. So there's that as well. So, um, yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Miniature Market. Anyway, so, uh, so we got that. So we're going to put that down right there. And we got Sir Forescale, who's going to be chilling like Bob Dylan right here. The hey, you mean to skip in, hey. and he's gonna hang out there while I get Mr. Measure Stick out. So, Mr. Measure Stick is gonna weigh this scorpion at the base at just just barely under two inches around. Okay, and then we are going to go, let's say, at the arc of that, maybe about an inch and five, uh, yeah, probably an inch and seven eighths, I want to say. Is what we got for that. Now we're going to go to the much more user-friendly, easier-to-use metric system here, and we got 
50 millimeters or five centimeters is what we got going on there. And then we have basically uh, around maybe 45, uh, 45 uh, millimeters or 4.5 centimeters, whichever you prefer. So would I buy this again for $5? Absolutely. I think it's one of their better, um, less overproduced sculpts. You know, you don't have a demon with horns on top of horns on top of horns. And so I think it, um, I think they kept it pretty realistic with this and it is definitely a miniature that I would most likely uh, buy again. In fact, I think I'm going to put an order in for a few more, just not right now through miniature market until I can stop being pissed off at them. And um, I think it's a lot less cartoony than the Reaper version. Not to knock on Reaper, but I have bought their Giant Scorpion too. Maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side sometime and maybe paint them both for you. But, um, you know, I, I, I got that one as well. So, but definitely like this sculpt. I definitely plan on ordering a few more. And they'll make a great addition to my tabletop, whether it be Dungeons and Dragons or if it's going to be um, a Fallout role-playing game, if you're interested in doing something like that as well. Um, plan on running a Fallout role-playing game? Let me know in the comments below. You know, if you got like your favorite uh, adventure module that you would use Giant Scorpions in, also put that in the comments below. I'd love to get some input from you guys. Maybe I can run one of those. Um, would really like to. Anyway, um, thanks a lot for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you feel that a thumbs down is necessary, I'm pro, you know, freedom of speech. So, give it a thumbs down. If you got something to say down below in the comments below, also pro freedom of speech, say it in the comments below. It's all good. Um, you know, and then you're also more than welcome to subscribe. That's going to help me get to a thousand subscribers, which will let YouTube pay me so I can buy more miniatures, so I can open more miniatures, so I can buy more miniatures, and oh my god, it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> um, not to mention, this is going to be really easy to paint, so this is not going to sit in my pile of shame for very long. Um, I don't know why I just suddenly shift gears into that, uh, but today uh, Dr. Zom chose the path of um, ADHD, so there is that. Anyway, Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there, and I hope you're able to get a game in when you can. Bye now.